All right, welcome back. We got another deck for you today. Call it the uh, Falcon, Falcon Punch. Punch. We're using Falco Spara Pact Weaver. But you find yourself coming back to these videos. Get that subscribe button for me. Small act from you. Huge deal for me. Let's go ahead and hit that. Both be happy. But let's get to this deck. We're going to run Elspeth Smite for a little bit of control. Dust Legion Duelist for draw. Faithful Absence for control. Invasion of Gobacon for the Light Shield Array. Spirited Companion for drawing, uh, Botanical Brawler for the counters, Malir the Living Cure to uh, basically give, you know, help out a little bit. She's pretty good. And when she's put into the graveyard, you can return a card to the battlefield under its owner's control. So, pretty cool, pretty fun. Extraction Specialist, in case we need to get something back. You know, like, uh, mainly the, uh, Dusk Legions, or Spirited Companions, Botanical Brawler, Malira, you know, your choice. Uh, Welcoming Vampire for the draw. King Darien for the protection. Torin Fist of Angels to create the training, uh, tokens. Broker's Ascendancy for the 1-1 counters on each creature and loyalty, uh, on my Planeswalkers each turn. Really fun card, super broken, love it. Broker's Charm. I really like charm cards, so I threw one in here. Uh, Shauna, the purifying blade with the life link. So in case you need to draw cards, uh, depending on the amount of life you gain that turn, you can uh, fill your hand back up. Archangel Elspeth. You know, it's a planeswalker, really great, but mainly for the 1-1 soldier tokens. The Wandering Emperor for control and the samurai tokens. And then we have Falco Spara Pact Weaver. Flying Trample, enters the battlefield with the shield counter on it. Look at the top card of your library at any time. And you can cast spells from the top of your library by removing a counter from a creature you control in addition to paying its cost. And as there's a lot of counters going on, it'd be really awesome. And then we have Elspeth, because she puts on the counters as well. As far as lands, basic utility, Agancho, Odwara, Osiju. But we're also going to run Deserted Beach, Sea Chrome Coast, Overgrown Farmland, Razor Verge Thicket, Dream Root Cascade, Yavamaya Coast, and Spars Headquarters. Now this deck really isn't easy on the wild cards, but it's a pretty cool deck. So uh, without any further ado, let's uh, try and get some wins and just throw down some damn cards. Let's do it. All right, Demonic Tutor. Great card. Loved it back in the day. Okay, our hand's okay. We at least got everything we need, but it's all tap land, so we're going to be running a little slow, but that's okay. Against Mono Red, who could have guessed? Anyway, that's fine. Everything's fine. But maybe this is a different type of mono red. We shall see. Um, let's go ahead and companion first. In case he bolts it or whatever dumb stuff mono red does. It won't matter. Okay, some more land. It's kind of good. Asian. Yeah, kind of saw that coming. So it's kind of the same boring Monterey bullshit, but don't know him, don't get it. <laughs> oh right, let's uh, let's extraction specialist. Okay, more land, great. Bloodthirsty Adversary, 52. Definitely a new card that nobody's ever seen before. So we're pretty excited by that. Okay, same bullshit. More land! Super cool, super fun. My light. We fight together. I'm 
I think we all know what's happening here. Ooh. Jesus Christ, man. Fucking Mario Red. Can you be any more boring? No, I can't. I'm so brain dead. It's all I can do. Great. And another fucking land. Holy dog shit. Followed by another land. Jesus. Can y'all just knock it the fuck off already? God damn. Sweet! Another land! God damn, give me something besides a fucking land. Man, yeah, fuck it. Let's play one land now. And we'll start getting our damage in. Right, that's why those spar headquarters are good. Okay, guess we're doing it again. Ooh, man. Oh, my God. So it's pretty good because we can deal with the disciple, but goodness me. I tend to just use the faithful absent on myself just to draw a damn card. Let's keep drawing some cards up. Okay, invasion to go of a card. I can work with that. I like it doesn't matter, but I can work with that. But now we're growing big. And we'll probably Faithful Absence this stupid little Devastator. Just because it's being annoying. But we'll wait till he attacks with it. And then we'll grab the win. Or he'll probably quit out. That's what most small red do. But it'll be fun to see his reaction. Welcome. Yep, what I say, quit out. Little bitches. <laughs> Fucking bottle red players, man. Oh, man. That deck's super fun, though. Uh, I'll go for another win, though. I doubt anybody will watch, you know, a second match. But still, if uh, this is as far as you got, well, I hope you enjoyed. But I'm going to go for another. Hey, we do get to go first, not that it really matters.
We'll go ahead and drop the duelist. So we're so we, we getting mono green? I haven't seen this. I haven't seen mono green forever. Actually excited for it. But let's drop that. We will drop this. I'll pay that shit. Swing in for our whopping two. And draw in for our botanical brawler. Let's try and drop him as soon as possible. Topiary. Great card too. I actually use that card a lot. But let's go ahead and Dream Root and we'll Brawler and we'll Malira. I'll pay that shit. We'll swing in. And then the black. Now nah, that's kind of a good, I, you know, showcase of how this is supposed to go. But I'd like to get the Wander Emperor out pretty soon. He's got five green open, so he can do something. He's looking at the guys pretty hard. Because I don't think he's actually roping. I think he's actually thinking. Which is pretty rare for a magic player these days. That's a pretty cool card. Alright, let's get a farmland out. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and swing in. First strike. I have got new moves to teach you. Just end it that way. <laughs> Sounds much better. Okay. He's got six open. So I'm expecting like a boring clicks or something big. We've got the edge in this fight. Now nah, he's going to get the death triggers. So I'm pretty sure he might get the spirit token. I just um, I don't know. Okay, we're getting loads of land. Hmm. 
Well, we could probably just cycle that one off if need be. He's got three cards in hand, six open. I'm very interested to see. Oh, okay. I like it. It's a super broken card, too. Okay. And this is where it all goes downhill for him. Because now we're just gonna go above him. Your training. Yeah, he's had enough because he can't do nothing about it. Pretty fun, but he was able to showcase what, uh, you know, the, I guess the little combo of the deck is. It's a super fun deck, uh, you know, very intensive on the wild cards, but man, if you've got them, this deck is something else. As honestly, I'm just trying to play something that is just different, you know. I mean, I still, like, I do see a lot of the Dusk Legion duels and stuff, but it kind of is what it is. But I guess my quest for trying to find something besides the same five decks that everybody plays is awesome. But I got pretty lucky here, you know, when I mean, we had to start off with eight mono red, but I haven't seen mono green in a while, so pretty fun, pretty cool. Well, I hope you guys enjoy the deck and the gameplay. If you stuck around this far, thank you very much. You're a freaking legend. Trust me, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it. But other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Because subscribing makes you feel good.